Hello and welcome to Golden Crone Hotel. I think uh, in the spirit of Halloween, I figured we can take a look at uh, this game. This came out on Early Access just yesterday on Steam. You can check it out. I'll put a link to the description if you'd like to see it. Um, it is developed and published by Volgat, and it is a gothic horror roguelike. Fight vampires with sunlight or become a vampire yourself and sneak in the shadows. So it's, it's kind of your typical roguelike. We're going to be running around through a dungeon and killing things. Uh, there's a bit of a story where there's some sort of evil vampire guy, and, and we are a vampire ourselves, and we can go uh, run through and try to kill the guy. So we'll take a look at it and uh, and see how it is. Um, options. There's one thing I want to show off here. As with any uh, typical dungeon, there are, of course, lanterns um, sort of spread throughout the dungeon. You can actually switch those. I guess this is some sort of, like, Halloween thing uh, into jack-o'-lanterns. So we can have jack-o'-lanterns all over the dungeon. I don't see why we wouldn't do that. Uh, pretty simple movement keys. We can go up, down, left, right. There's, there are no diagonals. And this is this is a turn-based roguelike. Uh, let me go up here. So up, down, left, right. Um, e is like our action key. F is fire. We begin with a gun. We can fire bullets. Um, space is like a rest thing. And we also have some abilities that we will see as we get into it. So let's go ahead and get in here. General arrow base. That is us. Trust me when I say we have a shared interest. On the outskirts of the border town Stratiba, there lies a tower inhabited by the worst of scoundrels. Maybe you've heard of it, but few who resides at the top. Few know who resides at the top. None other than Fane. I know during the war you wiped out all of Fane's lieutenants, but the vampire prince eluded you. I can offer you a bounty for taking care of Fane, but we both know the job will be reward enough. Uh, I suggest you conceal your identity on this mission, for Fane has both vampire and human in his employ. So, uh, here's our, our controls, right here. I'm going to leave it on easy, because I've not played this game very much. Uh, but we can choose, this is sort of like our class, I guess. We choose our disguise. We can be an officer, which is something like a warrior, I suppose. You can also see the form over here. These are the human forms, a vagabond and a scholar. It would be like a mage versus a, I guess, kind of a balanced. Um, or we can be a vampire, an assassin or cultist vampire. Or we can be a shapeshifter, which is like a werewolf. Which is really cool, and we're going to try that. We have less hit points, but we're a werewolf. So if we get, like, damage, we can switch into into wear form and then maybe heal back up. Um, all right, so you can see we are in wear form at the moment. You can see we look sort of like a dog, a very pixelated dog. We have two potions in our pocket. We can have we have a bat potion that turns us into a bat temporarily. Your strength is reduced to almost nothing, but you become very fast. And Luna turns us into a werewolf temporarily. Right now we are a werewolf, but we will turn back into a uh, human as soon as our lycanthropy number goes down. Uh, we at the moment have superhuman speed and strength and are healed by moonlight, which we'll see in a minute. There is a hunger mechanic in the game, which we are full at the moment. We have go no gold, no keys. Uh, it is 6.04 in the morning, and level 1, we have 35 health, 2 mana, and uh, vampirism. When this bar is full, you transform into a vampire, which is interesting. Um, Alright, so we are at the gate, the castle gate, so let's go walking in. Okay, so uh, yeah, all these uh, these pumpkins here, normally they're, they're torches, but because of that thing, we have... Um, giant attack lanterns. So like any other roguelike, it's, it is turn-based, and we just walk into things and, and we hit them. And bats are the worst. Bats are hard to hit. But we got them. And we just sort of wander around here and find our way through this place. So we gotta find our way to the top of this tower is kind of the idea. Why do they have question marks? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's because I was hidden from them? I think maybe I was hidden from them. I don't know. Uh, oh, we got some armors. You just walk over items and you pick them up. You picked up golden breastplate, plus two. It's better than what you have right now. We can see we uh, everything we have is plus one. We picked up some plate, which is plus two. It automatically puts it into our inventory. Whatever we don't use turns into cash immediately. Um, and because we're a werewolf, that's why our attack and stuff is green and, and better than it normally is. Okay. Let's go in here. We have a... Looks like a swimming pool. Uh, nothing in here. All right. You can beat the statues up. You can see, uh, I, I showed this, I don't know if I showed it before, but you can hit E and turn the things on, light the torches, and our, our thing wore off when we're now human again. But being human, we now have mana, which allows us, mana more than two anyways, which allows us to do things like heal ourselves. And I think heal is a werewolf only thing. Like if you're another character, you don't get the heal. Uh, we also have a gun in our pocket. And you can see our mana bar kind of right below us here. Let's go through some doors. What is this? Item all or something. I don't know what it was. But there's a spider. Very dark in here. Where's the pumpkin? There we go. There we go. Now we can see. Ooh. Excellent. We just learned a spell. Enrage temporarily makes the caster better in combat, but less intelligent. Whirlwind knocks enemies away from the caster and deals a small amount of blast damage to enemies that are vulnerable to it. 
glow. It imbues the caster with fleeting magical light. Casting it again will turn the light off. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Light is cool because if you come across a bunch of vampires and you get them into the sunlight, you'll see some beams of sunlight coming in. They burn. Uh, I'm going to go with Enrage. That's kind of what we do anyways, I guess, as a werewolf, but we'll try it. So that's you can see I have another option down here. When my mana bar is empty. So here, you can see the light kind of pouring in through. This is like a broken window. Light is pouring in. You can actually break these things. If I, like, use my gun, I can break the window. And allow more light to come in. Kill that. Ow! 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 You stunned me. Okay, we're gonna heal. Why can't I heal him? Kill him. Okay, we'll kill that guy. Then we'll kill the... I can't kill the spider! Alright, shoot the spider. Oh, dang it. Alright, so th this game has an issue with a mouse being on the screen. You have to have the mouse over the side, otherwise it immediately... It looks like you're shooting something, but then it moves over where, to where the mouse is, which is very annoying. But we're fixed now. Hey. Uh, we can hit space and rest for a bit and get our health back up, which is what we should do. Uh, are we ready to go upstairs? No, but we're gonna. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, buddy. Viral. I'd take this place any day over that last prison I was in. I don't lose any sleep over what I did to get in there, but to get out. What a bloody mess that was. Oh, all right. We have a door here we can go through, and we've got bats around. Bats are hard to kill because they're quick. There we go. What is this? Uh, ooh, more bullets. Okay. Uh, so these are unidentified potions. Um, so it's going to be one of these three things. It'll grant uh, vampires demonic abilities. Grants vampires demonic abilities. Uh, teleport or give us honey, which is like food. Petrifying potion turns one into a statue with increased resistances, but unable to move, which is strange. Ether grants ethereal status, strongly increases physical resistance, but decreases all others. Explodes the surrounding area in flames. Uh, this one could be either soup, blood, or ale. <laughs> one or the other. Blood heals vampires and turns vampires who have temporarily transformed into human back in trans into vampires. So like vampires work sort of like how I did, but I'm a werewolf. Where you start as a vampire, you can move back and forth to human. Kill that spider. Thanks for your help, buddy. Right, let's go look over here and turn that one on. Um, on. Oh. And sort of explore the place and pick up some more potions. We have another one. What is this one? I kind of want to use this one. No. Um, yeah, let's just try it. What does it do? It was demon blood. Nothing happened. All right. Um, try that one. May may it may teleport us. It was honey. Yum. All right. Okay. Uh, no, should I talk to you? Hey, buddy. Hmm. Watch yourself. All right, whatever. These guys are jerks. I break the bed. I'm not sure if breaking the bed gives me like abilities because we can level up like we just did. So let's put some strength in there. Actually, we can see we have an XP bar. Why don't we just look at that? Potion. An identified potion. There's a snake. It's going to kill me. Um, man is a little low. I was gonna read enrage, but. Oh, here we go. We're gonna enrage in here. Let's uh, let's heal ourselves. I don't have a man. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, we got a, we got a we got a spider coming up, but we're gonna shoot it with our gun. Yeah, I think that. Period waits to run round. There we go. Now let's wait. Okay, so our mana bar is full. We have health. We have a rat in here. Let's enrage. How much of the mana does this take? Eight mana. Same as healing. Let's do it. Uh, we did it all for a rat. There we go. You too. So we're a little bit tougher. And uh, I think we're back now. I think I just saw a blink. Okay. We could go back down to level 1, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's go over to level 2. Yeah, let's go check out level 2. Or level 3, I mean. That's the uh, upstairs of level 4. I feel like we should look around a little bit before we go charging into the next level. Ooh, like this. Uh, select a spell to learn. Uh, we can blink, teleport, um, okay. Or heal. We already have heal. Does that mean that it gives us a better level of heal? Level one. We have level one. It'll give us level two. I mean, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we now have level two heal. Ooh, very cool. Ooh, especially since we have to deal with giant things like that. Uh, let's heal. Okay. I'm poisoned. Uh, here he comes. Uh, we're gonna use our gun. There we go. That didn't... It helps if you hit him. 
That guy's kind of terrifying. Okay, we got him rage. And rage. We missed. We got him. Uh, we want strength. Okay, I'm going to pass some time here. And we got a rat to deal with. And there's another spell there. Excellent. Ooh, heal to level 3. It costs 16 mana, which we don't even have. Blast. It unleashes a violent wave of air that can damage or destroy inanimate materials such as glass, wood, or stone. Glow. Imbues the castle with fleeting magical light. I think I want to do this one. So if we get surrounded by vampires, we can use that. And I'm thinking that we'll... Like this. Let's try it. Let's try it. How much does it, use, it take to use? Only cost 4. Let's do it. Mm, nope. Not as cool as I thought it was. It's just basic light. Not cool light. Oh, look at all these people in here. Are you guys fighting or are you just, like, having a chat? I think we need to enrage. Ooh. Mm, I want to turn to a werewolf, but then I'll have to fight these people as well. These people don't like werewolves. They're fine with me walking around as a human, but if I walk around a werewolf, they're going to fight me. So we're going to go to enrage. And try to hit this guy. There we go. Notice when I enrage, my mana goes back down to like, to like when I'm a werewolf. What do we have here? We can do better glowing. Which is kind of lame. Teleport, whirlwind. Knocks enemies away from the caster and deals a small amount of blast damage. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Look at all these spells we have now. Um, I can't see. Uh, the door. It's very dark. We have an unidentified potion. Turn that on. There we go. Now we can see things. And another spell. What is this one? Levitate. Swap. Teleport. Uh, do we want to float? Maybe there's a reason. A reason? A reason? <laughs> um, let's do... Let's teleport. Sure, why not? Oh, I have to forget a spell? Oh. Um, we'll forget... No, I don't want to forget one. I don't want to. I don't want to. I have to. Uh, we will forget glow, then. Glow's kind of lame. Could be handy, though, if we're somewhere where, like this right now. We found some bullets. Um, turn you on. And there's some gold. More gold. Alright, let's, um... Uh, let's see. Ooh, where's my experience? So, 197. No, it doesn't change any. Killing beds doesn't raise my experience. Where was that, uh, that next level at? Up here. What's happening? I'm starving. I'm starving. Oh, I forgot to eat. Um, it was curry noodle soup. Yum. All right, I'm good now. Why am I still red? Why am I still red? All healed up. But why am I? Why is it? Why is it so red in here? I'm. I'm a little concerned. Ow. That wasn't cool. Oh, I'm a vampire. Oh. I just turned into a va I just turned into a vampire. Uh, um, how did that happen? What did I do? I did something. I don't know. But kill this person. There we go. Ooh, I slurp up the delicious blood. <laughs> um, okay. Ooh, there's another one. Yeah. Now I need to watch out for light. We leveled up. Uh, let's do some decks, I suppose. I could use some more mana. Ow. Drink up some blood. Mmm. Do I have to fight snakes too? I do. There's a broken window. We should stay away from that. Because if light comes in, we're pretty much dead. You can see that light there billowing in. Does light billow? Oh. <laughs> stay away from the light. How am I supposed to get over here? Where is the, uh... This isn't it. How did I get into this place? Is that it? Way over here? Where did I where did I enter? I think it, I think this is might be it over this side. So we're on the wrong side of the place. So let's uh, let's walk over here. Uh, hey guys, don't mind me. Ooh. How do I interact with the chest? Do I just break it? I want I want the chest. I want the chest. How do I unvampire? What do these do? I have some vampire things. Uh, I don't want that one. Mm, no, I don't want that one. Volatile potion? Mm-hmm. Removes all status effects. Provides levitation. 
Um, heals vampires and turns vampires who have temporary transform back to vampires. We don't want that either. Um, okay. Well, there's the stairwell up. Uh -huh. Take your tasty blood. I don't know how to turn back into not vampire. There's a lot of broken glass there. I shouldn't stand in here. But there's a spell. Uh, might as well save it for later. Uh, oh, because I can't speak as a vampire. Hmm. Take that. And more potions. And there's more spells. But I'm not going to pick them up, though, until I turn back. However I do that. Come here, buddy. Oh, man, I'm so tough, though. Who's this guy? Uh, why can't I hurt him? I don't know. What are you? I don't know what he is, but I can't hurt him for some reason. I wonder if I turned... Oh, oh, these are like... these are like Oh, these are my friends now. If you got gold, I have got equipment. Oh, plus... I have them five. I'm... Oh. Can I talk to you? Can you spare a drink? Eh, yeah, a drink. Get it. Uh, no. Copper leggings. Cool. Um, did I do that? I don't know, but that's kind of... I don't think so. Alright, um, there's a stairwell up. There's more spells, but I can't read them because I'm a vampire. I wonder if I can turn back, if I do this. It'll turn me back into a werewolf, which will then turn me back to a human? I don't know. Oh well. Let's keep on going. Let's go upstairs. There's another stairwell. What are we at, level 5? Ooh, what are you? Like a treant? A green man. Spider. Ooh, more spiders. I need to, like, just keep on hanging out with this blood. Oh, the blood goes away after a while. Give me some blood. There we go. Bronze, bronze plate leggings plus four. All right. I'll take some gold. And what do we have in here? Potion. Another guy we can talk to. Fane must be paranoid about the security here. He hired artificers. And construct defensive golems. Golems, can you believe it? No, I can't. Uh, General Airways, that's me, was seen in the nearby town. Why would she visit a hellhole extra tibia? I don't know. But she's here to kill the bad guy. Ooh, stay away from the sunlight. Oh, we leveled up again. Give me some strength. And give me some blood. Now. We gotta carefully walk around here and stay away from the light. What is that? Like a bookcase? I want through here, but I can't. The stupid light is in the way. I don't know what that is. Alright, let's go upstairs. Up to level six. Uh, there's a lot of light. Ow. I have a feeling I'm going to die by getting stuck in this light here. That's what's going to end me. Ooh, a sword. Who is this guy? Ooh. Get away from the light. Oh, dang you, light. There we go. Uh, steel sword plus six. Oh, it's much better than what I have right now. Sword plus six. Yeah. All right. Move this over here. Uh, get some blood to drink up. And there's a lot of people here. I wish I had my spells. Ooh, we're in bad shape. Um, hmm. Turns vampires into humans. That's not what we want. We want... Heals humans for a large amount, but we'll hurt those. No, 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 no. Mm, causes time to progress slower. Oh. Interesting. Heals vampires and turns vampires... Yeah, we want this one. No, it was ale. I don't want ale. <laughs> Turns one into a statue with increased resistances, but unable to move. Let's do it. Explodes the surrounding area in flames. Oh, we did it! We flamed. Um, we could also, like... I don't know. I don't know. If we level up, will that give us, like, full uh, hit points? No, it won't. We died. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, well, this that <laughs> that was Golden Crone Hotel. I will put a link to the description in the uh, the, the link to the Steam page in the description. You can check it out. Uh, again, it is on early access. It just hit early access, so this is the early days of the game. Um, but thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.